only on four. There are big questions tonight about the death of a 39-year-old woman in Fried Neck. She was found this morning in a home of a man who has connections to another story that First Lord Ford investigates dug into two years ago. Joining us now with new information is Chief Investigative Reporter Lauren Traeger. We have learned tonight that the woman who passed this morning is a local doctor named Sarah Sweeney. We've been working all day to gather information about her death, especially in light of another woman's tragic passing three and a half years ago. Nine one one location of your emergency. A nine one one call from a house in Creve Court in July twenty twenty. My fiance just shot herself. Your fiance just shot herself? Yes. A nightmare for the family of Grace Holland. Yeah, it's hard to live in a world without her. Back in 2021, First Alert 4 investigates exposed questions about Grace's death. She had died from a single gunshot wound to the head. Creve Corps police had ruled her death a suicide, but Grace's family was and still is concerned by how the investigation was handled. In part, they say, because Grace's fiance is a captain in a neighboring fire department. I'm a captain with the fire district. Now, Saturday, another death inside that same person's home, this time on Conway in Frontenac. Police telling First Alert 4 investigates that they were called at around 6.45 in the morning and found a 39-year-old female deceased inside. They have classified it as a sudden death only. According to officials, there were no obvious signs of injury or struggle. The medical examiner's office says they will need toxicology results and other investigation to determine cause of death. Grace's family learned about it shortly afterwards, raising many more questions for them. An attorney for Grace Holland's family sending First Alert 4 a statement saying, quote, We are saddened to learn of another death, especially of such a young person. We hope that the Frontenac police do what the Creve Corps police and the county medical examiner didn't do in the past and fully investigate this tragedy. Sweeney was identified today by police. She worked in podiatry in town. I spoke with some of her family members who say they were not aware of any life-threatening medical condition or any immediate reason for her sudden death. But they also say they had not spoken to her in two years, even though they say they had tried to raise their concerns about Grace's death. One of their last text messages to Sarah, they say, was to tell her to get away from that firefighter. We have attempted to reach him and an attorney who previously represented him, and we have not yet heard back.